Hi, it's Jim from Arizona Vapor Trails. Today we're going to go over the Eagle Tank. And uh, there's many different sizes out there. There's the Mini, there's the Type B, and the Type A. Uh, we don't carry the Mini. The cartridges are too small, and if you're going to use the Mini, you might as well just use a cart system or a direct drip with a drip tip. So, what I'm going to show you is, uh, let this focus in. This is the Ego Type B. You can see the needle in there that pierces the cart, and uh, that's the size of it. So, uh, with it on the battery, it uh, there's no need for a cone. Zoom this out here. There's no need for a cone with this. It screws right onto the battery, same size as the battery. This here is our cart. This cart is, uh, they have a silicone mouthpiece on them. This will come off. It usually slides off when you get oil underneath. When you get some liquid underneath it, uh, you can wash it out, put it back on, reuse it. And this is a two milliliter cart. We suggest only filling these carts up three quarters full with your fluid, uh, especially uh, first starting out. It's going to take you a day or two before your atomizer is actually broken in from these. And this here, is a silicone plug and that is where the needle pierces a silicone plug so to fill this take your favorite fluid from Arizona Vapor Trails or wherever you want this is Thin Mint 18 milligram 7525 base you want to use at least a 7525 base for your fluid anything more than that you'll uh, you get some dry burn in, in a tank you gotta have the proper fluid ratio in there so it's thinner you don't want a thick fluid on here as you can see I filled that up three quarters of the way full uh, and put the cap on and I'll show you what it looks like All right, with the cap pressed in place, now you see the hole. I've already punctured this hole before putting it on there. If I turn it upside down, you won't get no drip because of the vapor lock in it. The only thing that'll break that vapor lock is if you have a chad. A piece of the rubber stuck inside of there which you may have to pull the cap out snip it off these carts last a long time uh, they're good I've used them for two three weeks I clean them out every other day if I'm on the same fluid of course clean it out every day if you're changing fluid the next thing I do is I take the actual tank atomizer on the battery on a brand new tank atomizer and I drop two drops of fluid inside it. This helps it from dry burning. I don't care if I flood it the first time around. I want it to be uh, nice and wet. I don't want it to dry burn when I first put it in there. Then you want to take your tank cartridge. Put it in, push it, and snap it in place. Turn it a couple times around there and then pull it back out. And a little bubble just floated up to the top. You want to do that two or three times. You can see the bubbles popping coming up each time I do it that's priming the atomizer to get it started the first day or two you may have to do that a couple times while in use to get that atomizer broken in but after that you can hear it sizzling nice and good it's got fluid in it produces a nice good vapor uh, Best way to clean these, blow them out, take the cart off, take the tank off, and blow through it and blow all the excess fluid out of it into a paper towel at least once a day. That'll keep it from getting gummed up. About once a week you'll want to soak it in some alcohol or some propylene glycol. And uh, after it's all done, blow it out, let it dry out a little bit, drop a little bit of juice in there and blow the juice through to prime it and do the same thing that we just did with the cart. 
If you got any questions, you can email us, admin at ArizonaVaporTrails.com.